welcome to exam notes 365 hope you all are good and safe in this video we will discuss about the important current affairs questions on 18 june 2022 please watch the video till the end we will ask you a question at the end of this video please type your answer in comment section let's begin Name the sole Indian cricketer who has featured in the top 10 of ICC men's T20 batsman rankings 2022. The answer is Ishan Kishan. Ishan Kishan, who has been one of the India's consistent performers in the ongoing T20 International Home Series against South Africa, aggregating 164 runs in the three matches including two half centuries, has made a massive jump to enter the top 10 among T20 batters. He has been ranked 7th on the ICC Men's T20 International Batsman Rankings 2022. The 23-year-old is the lone Indian batter in the top 10 with KL Rahul occupying the 14th spot. Which country will host the BRICS Summit 2022? The answer is China. The 14th Summit of BRICS Nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa will be held in Beijing on 23rd June. Chinese President Xi Jinping will chair the BRICS Summit. What is BRICS? BRICS is an acronym for the powerful grouping of the world's leading emerging market economics, namely Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The BRICS mechanism aims to promote peace, security, development and cooperation. Where is the capital of China? Beijing. Who is the President of China? Xi Jinping. What is the currency of China? Renminbi. Which Indian state has ranked at the first position in Asia's Global Startup Ecosystem Report 2022? The answer is Kerala. The startup ecosystem in Kerala has been ranked as the best in Asia and the fourth in terms of affordable talent in the Global Startup Ecosystem Report, which was released on June 14, 2022. Kerala has also reported the lowest retail inflation in May 2022. Where is the capital of Kerala? Tiruvannathapuram. Who is the Chief Minister of Kerala? Pinrai Vijayan. Who is the Governor of Kerala? Arif Mohammad Khan. Let's check next question. The 47th meeting of GST Council to be held on 28-29 June in which city? The answer is Srinagar. The 47th meeting of the GST Council will be held on June 28-29 in Srinagar. This is the second time that the GST Council meeting is being held in Srinagar. The GST Council, chaired by Union Finance Minister and comprising state counterparts, is also expected to discuss the report of the panel of state ministers on rate rationalization and also the tax rate on casinos, race courses and online gaming. RPA has increased the age limit of e-mandates for transaction from Rs 5,000 to 15,000. The Reserve Bank of India raised the additional factor of authentication limit from Rs 5,000 to 15,000 per transaction for e-mandates on cards, prepaid payment instruments and UPA for recurring transactions. It implies additional authentication will not be needed for payment of Rs 15,000 per transaction. What is e-mandate? Under e-mandate, an individual can give standing instruction to the bank to debit a specific amount automatically on recurring basis. Let's talk about Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India is India's central bank and a regulatory body responsible for regulation of the Indian banking system. It is responsible for issue and supply of the Indian rupee. RBI established on 1st April 1935 under the RBI Act 1934. Where is the headquarters of RBI? Mumbai. Who is the governor of RBI? Shakti Ganda Das. Let's check next question. Under the Agnipat scheme, the government has increased the upper age limit from 21 years to 23 years for 2022. The upper age limit of Agnivers who will be recruited under the Agnivers scheme has been extended till 23 years. This is a one-time waiver granted for the proposed recruitment cycle for 2022. What is Agnivers scheme? A new short-term recruitment policy for 
intended to serve in armed forces. As Agnibad scheme faces backlash with protests taking place all over the country, the government of India has decided to increase the upper age limit of Agnibads to 23 years. Earlier, it was between 17.5 years to 21 years. Which Indian state has signed MOU with the Baidus for government schools? The answer is Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh government has entered into a memorandum of understanding with Baiju to impart education to government school students to provide the content of the letter. The government would provide tabs to guide the students who are currently studying in class 8 and will be appearing for class 10 exam in CBSC in 2025. Baijus is an Indian multinational education technology company headquartered in Bangalore, where is the capital of Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati, who is the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh, Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, who is the governor of Andhra Pradesh, Bishop Bhushan Harichandan. Let's check previous day question and answer. The U.S. is planning to launch West Asia Accord with which countries? The answer is Israel, India, and UAE. The US will launch a new four nation dialogue with India, Israel, and the United Arab Emirates during President Joe Biden's visit to the region next month. It will be called I2U2 for India and Israel, whose names begin with the letter I, and the US and the UAE that begin with the letter U, and will be focused on West Asia, where is the capital of US, Washington, D.C which the President of U.S. Joe Biden, what is the currency of U.S. United States dollar. Let's check question of the day. Who has named as the captain of Indian cricket team in the upcoming India vs. Ireland T20 squad 2022? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points on the current affairs of that day. If the video found helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Also share the video with your friends. To get daily current affairs, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.